Hey everybody, it's Neil here from Post to Post. This week we got the first image of all of the new, I guess technically they are new, Fanatics jerseys with all of the, all the designs from all the home teams. So we have a group shot of that. We're going to look at that image at the end of this video. Um, but at the beginning of this video, we're going to look at three images of the Utah uniform specifically because we saw obviously some mock-ups from the team, but we haven't actually seen images until this week, until just recently the other day. So I want to walk through those images and give our opinions. I have my mic a little bit closer than usual because uh, if you've watched my previous videos, I'm in the process of moving. That's why my background's empty and it's really really echoey in this room you can still absolutely hear it in the mic but uh, hopefully if it's a little bit closer to me it might be better let's bring up these images and let's go through them so this was the first image that i saw this was uh straight from the team uh, actually so we have the full thing we've got the jersey the pants the socks the gloves helmet everything i really like the socks i think those are extremely vibrant and match well with the striping on the arms and on the bottom of the jersey it's essentially replicated with the same line spacing and everything so that's great overall i mean we've already talked about the jersey it's it's very boring it's very basic it, it, because it has to be they don't have their official branding yet and uh, they don't even have their name yet so we just have the utah hockey club so it i mean it is it is what it is right but the colors do look good the black complements nicely with the blue and then the uh, the white as well it would be weird if the uniform was really lively or not dull i guess like the like the jersey is the uniform is intentionally dull to match the jersey so this isn't really a surprise it looks exactly like what we what we would expect and uh, that's about it. So let's go on to the next image. You can just see just a bit of a different angle and a different lighting. That's what I really appreciate about um, just, just almost like waiting a couple of days when things are announced, whether it's a, you know, it's a New Jersey or it's a uniform or whatever. I want to see multiple images of it from different angles from di in different lighting because the colors look differently in different lighting. So it's, it's important. In the previous image, they looked a little bit more vibrant, a little bit more blue or more rich, darker blue. But in here in this image, is not as vibrant and it's more of a sky lighter blue so it's good to look at images from different lighting it still looks <laughs> still looks pretty good i really like the neck actually i, I didn't notice it in the uh, first image we looked at but i noticed it here it looks good and this next image you can notice the neck even more honestly and uh yeah i mean it looks good the socks are really nice uh man it is what it is right now let's move on to the group image and uh, see if we can pick out anything that's uh maybe unusual or maybe just stands out a little bit well, I would say that the Utah uniform obviously stands out because that's a new team in the NHL. You can barely see the LA Kings uniform there in the background and just to the left next to the Utah one. But other than that, I mean, Anaheim stands out for me because that's, you know, that's that's a change that we were expecting or that we just, uh, you know, found out a couple of months ago and that we love. So that's that's great. Other than that, nothing really big stands out. Uh, the Flyers uniform, that's still a little bit new in our brains because of the recent change. But I mean, other than that, generally everything's the same except for Colorado. Let's zoom in on Colorado. What the heck is going on here? A white helmet? I feel like that has to be a mistake. I, I, I really don't see a world where Colorado is going to be wearing a white helmet for their home uniform because their pants are blue, aren't they? Or did they switch to burgundy? Either way, it doesn't match and it's going to look weird. So I don't know if that's a mistake or if it's intentional. I have no idea. If it is intentional, I don't like it. And uh, obviously I want to see more pictures of this. The Colorado Avalanche have not officially released their uniform on any of their social media yet. So we're just still waiting for images for that. But just based on this, I have to feel like that's a mistake because it looks so out of place. It doesn't look right at all. And uh, yeah, so I'm not a fan of that, um, but I uh, would love to hear your opinions down below. What do you think of the Utah uniform? Do you like it? Uh, would you like to see it change? Would you like to see it a little bit more lively? And how do you feel about this Colorado helmet? Is this a is this a mistake or is this real life? Is this actually going to happen? Love to hear your thoughts down below. Tomorrow we are doing jersey concepts as usual here on the channel. So if you if you do like designs, logos, and all that fun stuff, and seeing new and incredible work from the community, please make sure you check in tomorrow on the channel. I will be releasing that video around four to 5 p.m. Eastern. So that'll be hitting the channel tomorrow around that time. So we'd love to see you there. If you're new, please hit the, hit the subscribe button down below. We'd love to have you. And if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. We'll talk to you very soon as news is released in the NHL. Adios.